Hi, it's Bernina Jeff at High Fashion Sewing Machines in Grand Junction, Colorado. I have had several customers call me or bring their machine back after we have serviced them and say they had really poor stitch quality, especially on the bobbin side of their material when they were sewing. And I had helped a gal over the phone. She was over two hours away yesterday, and she actually sent me pictures of her stitch quality, and I said, okay, let's start from scratch. So I had her thread the top of the machine, made sure the presser foot was up, pulled on the thread and lowered the presser foot. It had good tension. Then I said, okay, now take the bobbin case out. She had a vintage or a classic Bernina, and Bernina's are real picky. In fact, every machine's pretty much picky about the bobbin you use in the bobbin case. So I'm going to go through today several different bobbin case and bobbin issues that I've seen and maybe help you uh, have a better stitch quality. So when she showed me the picture, the bottom of her fabric was a perfect straight line. There was no stitch. It was like pulling really hard. So I had her take the bobbin case out and I had her describe the bobbin to her to me. She had a classic uh, Bernina. It was like a Bernina 801 or 807. These are fantastic machines built in the 70s and 80s and they'll still go another 20, 30 years. You keep them maintained. So she said, well, it has two holes in it. Well, no Bernina bobbin has two holes in it. So I am going to show you the proper Bernina bobbins and the proper Bernina bobbin case for those classic and vintage Berninas. Any Bernina that doesn't have a black, black plastic bobbin uh, uses its own specific bobbin. So I'm gonna switch the camera around. And when I see a customer bring in a Bernina that has a bobbin with 10 holes in it, that's a Singer bobbin, and it will not work properly in a Bernina. I guarantee it. The Bernina bobbins, the classic ones that are 5.5 millimeter bobbins, there's only two kinds. One that's solid with a little slot, and they're stamped with BB. I call it Bernina bobbin. Or the more modern ones, which have seven holes. If you count them around, there's seven holes on both sides. So you check that out. That's a true Bernina bobbin, and that'll work in the bobbin case. Now, I've had customers saying, well, I have the right bobbin in, but the thread keeps breaking, and it's usually the top thread. Well, there are aftermarket bobbins that look just like a Bernina bobbin case, but the bobbin case on a Bernina has a small little hole on that little finger that comes up. And if you don't know what that small little hole is for, it adds 10 to 12% more bobbin tension. You thread that from the inside out when you're doing buttonholes and decorative stitches, and that way the bobbin thread will not pull up to the top of your project. So if you're doing buttonholes, you don't want that edge showing and you want a perfect edge, thread your bobbin through that little hole and then start sewing. It adds extra tension to the bottom. And these uh, bobbin cases, if you were to buy them new, they're almost $80 now. So if you find a classic or vintage Bernina at a yard sale or something, and it has that bobbin case in there, snap it up. It's definitely worth your investment. Um, and just make sure if you have an Elna or any other brand of sewing machine, there's a wonderful website that you can go to. It is called Sewing Parts online.com that's sewingpartsonline.com and it's all one word no spaces and they have a wonderful search engine you can put in the brand of your machine the model number and what you're looking for so if you're looking for an elna model 110 or 1010 and you type in the next box bobbins you'll have the proper picture. You can buy them from them or you'll at least see a picture of what the bobbin is supposed to look like. So here's a scenario on most of my customers. They bring in a little case of sewing accessories, feet and bobbins, and they've owned four or five machines over the last 40 years. And all their bobbins are commingled. All their feet are commingled. So I take a minute and I sort them out for them. And I sort out all the bobbins that will pertain to the machine they own now. And then they say, what do I do with these old bobbins? Well, I have donated over 200 sewing machines that I've fixed up to Indian reservations and women's groups around the area. So I donate those bobbins back to those machines so the uh, people can uh, have a 
sewing machine to use wherever they're at without having to pay for it. So remember, bobbins are specific to your sewing machine. And if you're not sure, go to sewingpartsonline.com and use that search engine to find what uh, bobbins fit to your machine. They also, their pricing as well, and they don't gouge you on shipping, so it's a good company to work with. So this is Bernina Jeff. Hopefully this will help solve some of your sewing quality issues, and please subscribe. And remember, I sell the perfect oil for $12 a bottle. It's a long-tipped oil, and it has a non-leak -leak tip, and it looks like this, and it comes in two qualities. The yellow cap quality is for all silver and metal type bobbins and machines. And I sell one with a red cap that is for Bernina's with the black bobbins. So you can call my shop, 970-256-1293, or email me and we can uh, set you up with one of these oils. Thank you very much, Jeff at High Fashion. Please remember to subscribe. It helps with uh, you getting noticed when I have a new videos out. Thank you.